How's it going guys? Brad Scott here with Video Profits Pro and Instahook Video Backgrounds. Today I've got a really awesome product I'm going to go over and give you a little tutorial on. Um, it's a new product launching February 16th by Josh Rada. He's one of the guys I always check out his products. He's one of my good buddies. Always putting out quality software um, in the video marketing space and just stuff that really helps you uh, grab people's attention and give them that wow factor with your videos. So um, here's the, the page you'll see when I send it to you. Um, you can go ahead and click and watch the demo video, but I'm going to give you a full rundown of this software right now. And uh, if you watch to the end of the video, I'm going to include an awesome bonus that's really going to go great with this product. So um, let's get right into it. First thing we're going to go is go into the software here and you can see this is kind of like the the home setting um, you've got a get started page it kind of shows you this is where you get started on a new project um, you've got all these tutorials so if I miss something in this tutorial you can go ahead and watch all these ones to help you get started and use this this product. Um, first thing you're, you're going to want to do is go to settings and you're going to want to connect your Amazon S3 account. If you don't already have an Amazon S3 account or know what it is, it's a great service for storing and streaming videos and embedding them onto your website. Um, very, very professional looking videos. This is what I use for all of my websites. It works great very cost-effective um, and you can't have uh, any issues like when you're using YouTube and Vimeo so it's a good service to use um, so all you would do with that is watch this tutorial if you don't already have an account Josh goes over how to create an Amazon S3 account and then you watch this tutorial to see how to link it up basically all you do is you go into your Amazon S3 account um, and you you basically it's gonna look like this when you first get in there okay and you click on your name security credentials access keys oh you just gotta click this little continue access keys and then you just click create new access key and it'll give you uh, I gotta I would have to delete this one but it'll give you a secret access key ID and an access key ID okay and you'll just go ahead and paste that right in these boxes right here. Click save and finish and finish. And then all you want to do then is click and um, link your Aweber account. I've already done it so it says I'm, I'm connected. All you do is you click a button right here, log into your Aweber account and click um, um, allow access or something like that. You can do it with GetResponse or MailChimp as well. So let's go ahead and get started on a new project so I can show you all the cool features. Now you can kind of get a hint in the name Vigios. These are geo-targeted videos so it means it's got all these smart elements that'll let you really um, connect with your viewer. It's going to change the text, the time, everything to where they're located so it's really cool stuff never seen before. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click get started and just go test project click create it's gonna load it all up and I'm actually gonna save some time here and add a template right here and I believe these templates are in the OTO1 package okay so if you um, if you don't do the OTO1 you might not get this, but it's well worth it. You get all these really cool uh, template designs, so it saves you a lot of time. Uh, I'm going to go with the high-tech template and click Time Slide and click Add Slide. And then we'll show you how to change all the different interactive features. So I'm just going to delete this slide. You can see I'm down here with the cursor. I'm going to delete this first blank slide, and we've got this blank time slide so I don't really like the way the background looks or anything right now I'm gonna go ahead and delete this background and go to images here 
and use this uh, this space one. It's kind of cool looking. And I'm actually going to delete this time right here because this is just standard text. And I'm going to dig into these smart elements here and show you what they do. So I'm going to click time. And it is now, if you look on my computer screen right here, um, let's move you down a sec. Okay, you can see that it's 1036. And if I change the font color of this, you'll see that it says 1036. So it knows what time it is in my location right now, okay? So that's super cool. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. And let's change the font to um, digital. Okay, it makes it look more like a watch. Okay. So we're going to do that. And if I slide preview, you're going to see that the watch will move up. And then at the end of the slide, it's going to move down. Okay. So we want to match this text to do the same as what the watch is doing so it looks real. So um, we're going to go to animations and you can see it says in, mid, out, and loop. Um, for the end point, we're going to go slide up long and for the out point we're going to go slide down long or slide bottom long that's what it's called okay so if we preview that it's going to appear as if it's actually in the watch now okay sliding up and you can see the time change to 1037 now so we're going to close this preview we're going to add some other cool elements now so let's go to city and let's just change that color to white as well. And let's change the font to digital, keep everything the same. And the size a little bit smaller to fit. And let's make this time centered and a little bit bigger. Okay. So now what we're going to do is animate this this um, South Lake Tahoe to do the same thing. So in point you want to slide up long and out point you want to slide bottom long. Okay. And we're going to add one more element, which is going to be the date. And let's make that white digital. Put it in the center and make it a little smaller. Okay, and we're going to do the animations on that. So in is going to be slide up long, out is going to be slide bottom long. So now if we preview that slide, it says don't waste any more time, February 13th, which it is. It's February 13th, 2016. And it shows I'm in South Lake Tahoe, California. I'm going to go ahead and post this on my site right below this tutorial video so you can see that it'll change with your, your date, your time, and your country or location that you're in, okay? Um, this is what it's all about, is really giving people that wow factor and connecting with them. It feels like the video is specifically sp specifically for them, so it's really, really cool. Um, let's add another uh, slide here, and we're going to go add from templates, and let's do email sign up, and just click add. And exit out of there. So if we go to the next template, we can uh, change that background again. We can make it. Um, let's do the image as 
something a little bit more simple. Okay, and we can get rid of this shape if we want. Just click delete. Right here. So now um, we can just put an element. Uh, let's do an animated text. And let's put it um, sign up to receive a free video series. Let's make that a little bit smaller and let's make it white. Okay. And we can add a little animation in there that uh, we can just go ahead and do a fade. If you click play, you can see what the animation will do. So that looks pretty nice. And we're going to go ahead and export this. So let's do save and publish. If you want to use any music tracks or voiceover, you can add those right here. I'm just going to, for this preview, I'm going to click save and publish. So I just click that, publish to Amazon S3, click that, and it's going to load it all up, render it all out, and publish to Amazon S3, and give you this embed code. And you can choose the size of the video, um, if it's centered or if it's responsive. So I want to do centered and responsive, and I'll go ahead and paste this onto my website, we're just going to put it on, um, let's put it on my, I actually just created a, a new website, um, we'll put it on this website here, so I'm just going to go to videos, this is my new photography site, um, pretty stoked on it. All right, let's click videos and we're going to click, this is actually a Wix site that I'm using for my photography site. I usually use WordPress, but for my photography site, Wix really seemed to do a good job um, doing what I want and click more. So right here, I have an embed HTML code. I'm going to enter that code that it gave me for Amazon S3, paste it there and click update. And you can see I got a nice little video. And we're just going to put this over here for now and click preview just to show you. So the time is 1044 South Lake Tahoe, February 13th. And I can Enter my email right here. And build email list. So that just subscribed me to the list that I had set up right there. So that's, that's all you have to do for this video. It's super cool, really easy to use, an amazing product. Um, Josh gets way more in depth with the tutorials. I just wanted to show you a quick demo of what it does and how fast you can get it uploaded onto a website using these really awesome features. Um, on the, the website link I'm gonna share with you, I'll post the same one um, below right below the video so you can see exactly how it's working, how it's changing for your geolocation, okay? So thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and grab it on February 16th. This is a great product. People are really going to love it. We will see you inside. Thanks for watching again. And one last thing, you guys. Anyone who purchases videos through my link is going to get free access to all of these stock videos. Um, on my Instahook video club, okay? You get all these videos.